Hey, what's up dudes and dudettes? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the DC Collectibles, which I guess is the same company as DC Direct. I don't know since I don't really collect this line. I don't know what's up with that name change. But either way, this is the Arkham Origins Batman. This Batman puts the DC Universe Classic style one to shame. You guys saw my review of that figure. While it had some benefits, it was generally not a very good figure. And while this figure is generally much, much better, there are a few things that really, really grind my gears, to quote Peter Griffin. It is cool though, so let's take a look. He stands, he's definitely taller than DC, you see, about seven and three quarters to the top of his ears. And while we're looking at the ears, let's look at the head. It is phenomenal. It looks really, really good. It's probably the best part of the figure. The sculpt is good. Paint's good enough. The uh, dirtiness on the face looks a little bit less like stubble, a little bit more like poo, but it's not horrible, and as long as you're not zoomed in super close, it looks really good. So I do like that, which is in accordance with the rest of the figure. The sculpt is really good. The details are in there. All of the detail looks really, really good. You can see the rivets in the suit. The ab crunch is hidden quite well. It works nicely. The bat is engraved. The cape looks really natural. It hangs straight back instead of being spread out all goofy like the Mattel version. All the armor plating looks good. I mean, really, it's a nicely made figure. And I was looking at it, and I do think the proportions look really good. And I couldn't figure out quite what looks off about it, and I think I figured it out. His crotch region is way too big. He's got a really long midsection already, but the way this comes all the way down to here, it just throws off the proportioning. I think it's probably it should probably end like right there. I know this is kind of a weird thing to talk about, but his crotch is too big, guys. That's what's making it look weird to me. And then having the balled up fists, which is fine, it makes the arms look kind of stumpy, so I'm not sure if they should be longer or if it's just because of the fat armor. That kind of throws it off, but I think that's mostly just an optical illusion. I think if the crotch was shorter, we'd be better off as far as proportioning goes. That said, it still looks really damn good. And if once you get it posed, you know, put them in like kind of an action-y pose type thing. Let's go bend some joints. We'll talk about the joints in a second. But once you get him posed, he looks really good. You know, you get him posed in like he's getting ready to fight somebody. Looks great. Okay, so let's talk articulation. The head, pretty limited. It does go up and down a little bit, but not a huge amount. Mostly up, no down. Of course, it has the full swivel. It can rock side to side, which I love because it gives the character more character. So that's nice. The cape is soft, so it's not going to impede the articulation too much. The shoulders are ball hinged. Pretty good range of motion. They do sit in there well. You can't really tell it's a point of articulation, so that's nice. Looks really good. There's no bicep swivel. The only swivel you get is out of the elbow, which you guys know probably by now. I don't like that. It kills the sculpt when you have to bend the arm out to the side like that. And it's not very effective. And the elbow joint is also not very effective. You don't get a whole lot out of it. You can't put him in too much of a good pose when that's as high as he can raise his arms from the elbow. So it's kind of disappointing. The wrists are on hinges. They don't have a great range of motion, but they, they do have some. And then, of course, they swivel, so that's fine. Again, you already saw the torso. Pretty decent ab crunch, good forward and back. Waist twist is good, and the belt is soft, so it doesn't get in the way. He does have T-jointed hips. Pretty much DCUC style. They're a little bulkier than I would have done myself, just in the design, because you can't raise his legs to the side any more than that, really. You could really force it, but I suspect they would break. So they're kind of limited, unfortunately, but they're not horrible. Uh, for the knees, he does have double jointed knees and he does have a swivel in the thigh. So that would help in some posing since you don't really have a thigh swivel anywhere else. So you can pose him kind of like he's doing a kick. But it's, it's really weird to have the joint that way. It's effective for some posing, but I don't know if I like that better here. I mean, I definitely don't like it better here. I think it would have been better off up at the top where it normally would be. The ankles are just like most import figures in that there's a ball hinge that swivels in the boot or in the shin and in the foot area. So it swivels on both ends, although it's really loose at the top and tight at the bottom, so that's kind of tricky, but you can get it to swivel at the bottom and that gives you a really effective ankle rocker once you actually get it to do what you want it to do. You can bend the foot over really well. 
So that's pretty awesome. I really like that they included that. So there are a lot of good features to this figure. I have to say it's not as good as I thought it was just based on the pictures, but it's definitely a really good figure. And if you don't care about scale, this is easily the one to go with over the Mattel version. Me personally, I got the Mattel version because I am a complete collector for the DCUC line. But I'm not going to get this one. This is my friend's. Actually, it's for a custom. But either way, I'm not going to get this because I'm going to hold out for the Play Arts version. Because I think that'll be the way to go. And Figma or Figure Arts, whoever's making that one too. So I don't know. If you guys are dying to get a good Batman, this is probably definitely... Probably, definitely. This is probably going to work for you. Just don't expect it to be phenomenal. It's not a super good figure. It's just a really solid figure with better detailing and better everything than the cheaper version. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.